Hello, Grant Today family. I hope you're having a wonderful um, start of the week and hope things go well for you. Um, today I wanted to share some poetry or quotes or um, words that this artist, his name is um, Roderick McIver, and he lives in the woods. I'm not for sure exactly where, but he does painting, illustrations, cards, books, and he's always quoting fascinating figures. And so I'm always reviewing his poetry, and I've been doing it for about a year, and I thought I'd share some of it with you. And this is a poem called Cabin Poem. I've decided to make up my mind about nothing, to assume the water mask, to finish my life disguised as a creek, an eddy, joining at night the fall, full, sweet flow to absorb the sky, to swallow the heat and the cold, the moon and the stars, to swallow myself in ceaselessness flow. And this is by Jim Harrison, an excerpt from the Cabin poem. I just thought that that was just so um, visual, right? I mean, to, to visualize yourself as the water that flows. And the water, of course, takes on whatever it flows through. And any type of reflection is whatever is, is before it. You know, imagine a river flowing at midnight and it's reflecting the moon and the stars. And yet it can just transpose itself as, so, as the river flows and then next it's reflecting the trees and maybe the face of a coyote or a wolf. I like that ability to think of myself as a water mask. Um, let's see, there's, um, there's another one too. And this is uh, talking about two birds in a berry tree. And one bird eats fruit and another chatters. Well, though actually the one that eats fruit, he, he, fruit, he eats fruit and chatters. And the other one looks silently on. And it says, I seek a dialogue with the quiet within guidance, the quiet bird, looking on silently. The bird is shy, reticent. It retreats in the face of harshness. It can guide us. But first, first relationship, the connection with it requires nurturing. And this one was by Rod McIver. I also love that, that thought of a bird. We are two birds, right? We're two birds in a tree, and the one's eating and chatting away, and the other one's very silent. And we need both. But especially the silent one is the one that we need to nurture because so often we don't nurture our silence. We don't even seek our silence. Um, some people call it boredom or loneliness. But what happens if we become friends with the silence? What happens to us? I think what happens is in this very last one I'm going to share with you. Um, and it's a poem by Samuel Coleridge. He was a poem and a poet in the 19th century. He wrote books. He was another person who's very prolific, right? And I just love this. It says, he looked at his own soul with a telescope. What seemed all irregular, he saw and showed to be beautiful constellations, and he added to the consciousness hidden, worlds within worlds. That's what happens when we spend time in silence and with ourselves. That which seems irregular is really just a beautiful constellation. Well, I hope you guys have a great week, and I hope these um, words have soothed your soul and um, give you some peace and quiet as you're going about your day. Talk to you later. Bye.